In this episode, we will talk about the tech stack for building applications using large language models. This diagram from Andreessen Horowitz is one of the most comprehensive and comprehensible LLM architecture I've seen out there. It includes the right amount of information that is simple enough without losing important details. So let's break down this architecture. We will break down this architecture into five components, orchestration, contextual data, LLM APIs, monitoring and validation, and lastly, app hosting. Orchestration is the core component that enables integration of LLM into your application. This includes LLM framework and libraries like Longchain Llama Index that allows developers to easily talk to different LLMs. They contain libraries and functions that makes it easy for developers to work with LLMs. For example, Langchain include libraries to allow developers to load different types of files like PDF, HTML, and Excel files. They also contain convenient functions for implementing chatbots, document Q&A, and more. So this component allow developers to build LLM applications faster by abstracting the complexity of LLMs through APIs and function calls. For larger scale applications, consider using data pipeline tools like Airflow and PySpark so you can manage data processing into batches. Next up is contextual data. Context is a set of information that is fed into the LLM to generate your desired response. And there are many clever ways to build context, which is why prompt engineering is becoming important. Studies have shown that putting more relevant context can significantly improve LLM accuracy. Building your own context framework also requires a vector database to store the proprietary and special information. They are designed to work better than traditional databases for storing and searching context or semantic data. There are many vector databases out there like Pinecone, Qdrant, and Milvus, each having its own strengths and weakness. If you want to learn more about vector database, check out my other video about vector databases. Then we have LLM APIs. Of course, this is the brain that makes it all possible. However, due to the complexity and amount of resources needed to build your own LLM, most likely you will be using APIs from one of the providers. So this includes API calls to Vertex AI, to Open AI, Amazon Bedrock, and more. Now, to productionize your application, you will need monitoring and validation tools to ensure your application is behaving correctly. You must be able to answer questions like, what is the response time of your application? How can you improve its performance? Are there any hallucinations or unethical response? There are several observability tools like weights and biases and helicones that provides insight into how your LLM is working. Guardrails are also important so that you can control the response of your application. They can detect threats, attacks, and align your LLM response to a desired behavior. And lastly is, of course, app hosting. This includes your typical hosting provider like AWS, Azure, and Vercel, so you can have your app available in the internet. And that's the LLM Tech Stack, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Artificially Intelligent.